This is the Outfitter Supply uh, leather uh, rifle scabbard for a scoped rifle. It'll accommodate up to a 28 inch barrel, 50 millimeter scope. What I prefer and what I've learned from a lot of the outfitters in Montana is that they like it on the offside, in front, up here. <laughs> so that, uh, you can... I like to put this top strap clear through the gullet. That's the most positive way to hang this rifle. These are uh, heavy straps. They're not going to break. Now the bottom strap, you have you have choices. What I what I like to do is I like to wrap it around here once or twice and go through the buckle on my flank cinch. You're getting on the onside. This weight on the offside helps counterbalance your weight when you get on. So you're not, you don't have your weight and the rifle's weight pulling the saddle off to the side. I like to have it up this high because you're riding through timber. You may want to take the butt of that rifle and hold it in. A lot of times I'll stiff arm a tree to get a get my horse away from a tree so he doesn't scratch up my scabbard or break my rifle or something like that. I can have this scabbard anywhere I want it. I, I can have it hang almost vertical or I can have it back here under my leg. And this doesn't bother me. This would bother my leg. So I like to have it down about here. Maybe you don't have a flank cinch. You can come up here to the rear rigging D. Mine's a slot, but you could go through. There's lots of options, and we make these straps plenty long enough to do just about anything you want. The rifle is going in where the curvature of the horse's girth is. The other thing is that when you're on the horse and you want to pull this rifle out, you've got a quick release snap there, you pull it off, you pull it out of the scabbard, and you step off your horse. You're ready to shoot. Generally, your horse is going to stick around if you spooks a little bit. You're not running off and leaving the other horses you're with. I recommend, you know, unless you're real close, you tie them up and you get a good rest so you make a clean shot. But uh, you don't want to get off your horse on that side, have the rifle on this side, and then the horse knows you're excited and he's dancing around and you can't get your rifle. I always take my scabbard off at the end of the day so that uh, it stays in good shape. It's going to have some scratches and going to look used, but that's the way it should look.